Hey you guys, it's another day, beautiful day. <laughs> it is, it's a beautiful day. And I'm on my way to Crossfield, Tennessee to pick up a Fox body. I've owned Fox bodies all throughout my life. I really love them. And it seems like in the last few years, Fox bodies has really skyrocketed in price. So when you can find one that's reasonably, reasonably priced, that's not just butchered and actually runs and drives, you better jump on it because it, it's a collector's item now. Everybody wants them, seems like, nowadays. I wish I'd have kept all the cars that I had when I was younger because the soda ended up selling them all and, and basically give them away for nothing because back then they weren't, you know, people were using them for dirt, dirt uh, round tr circle track, and dirt derby, stuff like that. You could, you could buy them a dime a dozen. But we're on our way to Crossfield. Hopefully we're going to pick this Fox body up. It's a uh, 89 Mustang GT 5.0 non-sunroof car, thank God. But it is an automatic. I hate that. I can't stand AOD transmissions. They are garbage. I hate them. Can't stand them. So, can't win them all. Let's go get this thing. All right, well, I just made it back. I barely got that thing up on the trailer. Um, It wasn't running right. He said it run great. And yeah, I could, probably could have drove it home, but he also said it's been sitting for two years, so I might have a whole lot to do with it. Maybe it's just bad gas, but I just stuck a battery back in it. What is that? A napkin or something. But I just popped the hood to put the battery in. I just noticed it's got a, it could be a major vacuum leak. But he said it was at a shop before he parked it and they put intake gaskets on it. But I'm going to be honest, the lower intake gaskets has never been changed. So maybe they just replaced the uppers. But whoever done it, it's missing a bolt here. And this, I don't know. Is this a vacuum leak? I don't know. Hey, Ellie. I'm home, honey. Come on, honey. Where you been? You been playing with the neighbors? You been playing with the neighbors, honey? Yes, I know, I know. I'm home, honey. So anyway, I'm thinking that's a vacuum leak. It's almost looking like that might be like a... Some kind of aftermarket auto body. Maybe a BBK. I don't know. I'm, gonna, I'm just going to plug it off. I went down to the shop and grabbed this hose. I'm going to plug it off like that. It's got this... This is just hanging off the back, and this has some kind of plunger. Was that something to do with, like, EGR, maybe? I don't know. I'm seeing a lot of things that... Like, you see, there's a clamp right here. And there's also... I mean, they, they couldn't even take the clamp off. I'm seeing lots of stuff. Lots of vacuum leaks, looks like. Let's just see if we can get off the trailer. Put the hood back down. I'm not into I'm not into this car for very much. Hey, Bo. What you doing, boy? This is the car. He said he had started doing some body work. He said it wasn't rusted; it was just dented. So he had started doing some body work on it. They put them new chrome pony wheels on it, and then just let it sit. So they got some. They're starting to peel. That's the only bad thing about those pony wheels. They don't take much, and they peel or bubble. But the car looks super straight, considering. Uh, it's like they started doing a little body work here and then back here. Looks like it might have been like a little ping dent. He said there was a dent right here. And then he said this was wavy. But yeah, he started doing some body work and it finished it. I don't know why. Fox bodies are real bad about this. They don't ever fit real good. That's not bolted up. I'm surprised I didn't lose that. Oh, that's pulled out, looks like. Huh. Can't get this open. I think there might be a pull handle or something somewhere. I got the tail lights and the headlights in the truck. See, that says 2019. This is 20. This is almost 25. So 19, 21, 23, 24. Man, this thing's been sitting a long time. 
almost six years. Maybe that's why it's running like crap. The gas is so bad. Well, I think he said he had intake gaskets put on like two years ago, so maybe, maybe someone been sitting two years. I don't know, but I wish somebody had that that gum rattle can just so ugly color on it because it was burgundy before. I wish I could have just like left the burgundy on it. They maybe painted the bottom part silver and just had like a patinaed original looking fox body, but no. Somebody's had to go around and rattle can it everywhere and this old ugly, I don't know what color this is. You can see the factory color was like the burgundy color. And then you got this color that's ugly, whatever, just brown. This almost looks like house paint or something. Let's see if we can get it off the trailer. I'll play with you in a minute, honey. Where's your toy? Is that your toy? Okay. Let's see if we can get it off here. I don't even know if I can get in. It's hitting. I had to raise it up to get it. Get out of there. Oh, yeah. I just don't raise it up. And the interior is there. It's just a part. But it needs a real good cleaning. Ugh. And it's got tilt wheel. Oh, I'm going to get out of it to get the door closed. Okay. Get the door closed. Oh, yeah. I got the door closed now. I get my foot in here. Oh. I definitely crawled through no window. But he said he had bought a bunch of parts. So far, all I see is these things, these covers for the quarter windows. He said there was a bunch of parts he bought new from LMR. I don't know. I'm not seeing much. Looks like maybe some rubbers. So, yeah, he bought some rubbers. Maybe some door rubbers, maybe. Yeah, looks like he did. He bought some stuff from LMR. Where this is. What is that? Oh, Ellie, look what I found. Look at Ellie birdies. She says, what is that? Don't you swallow that. I can't afford another vet bill. <laughs> okay, let's see if this tar's going to start. There's another mass air mater. Like I said, it's all here, but it's just a part. So those are new. Let's kick door sill plates. Okay. Let's see what she'll do. I said it ran up on the trailer, but it was rough getting it up on there because it was running really bad. What is that? Is it the windshield wipers? Windshield wipers was on. Well, they don't sound very good either. But at least the cow ain't all been up. What times the cow's been up? What's this little switch for, I reckon? I don't know. I don't know what that is. That's some mold on the steering wheel. Okay, let's see. Hey, it's running a lot better since I plugged that off. <laughs> it wasn't idle before. Well, pressure seems okay. Sounds like it's dead on maybe a cylinder. What is that sound it's making? I don't know, better get off here. I don't know what that sound is. <laughs> No, does it, Ellie? Don't sound good. <coughs> Sounds like a vacuum pump or something. <coughs> and also, it almost feels like the brakes are trying to stick. steering pump well it just died what a turd now it's flooding to death it almost sounds like it's out of gas it's out of gas 
I got it up on his heel now. It's out of gas. Lord have mercy. Well, boys and girls, it's out of gas. I'll have to move my truck and let it roll down level ground. Dang, I should have put gas in it. All right, well, I just put, I don't know, three gallons of gas in it. I saved about a gallon for the kids' motorcycles. Oh, but it look. Your little stick has dwindled down to nothing, Ellie. Let's try it again. I don't know. I think it's out of gas. If it's not out of gas, then maybe I'm going to have to take that hose I stuck on the intake off. I just got something to do it. I don't know. The Fox Body days was my younger days. It's been a while, fellas. I had one about a year ago, but I didn't have it very long. I sold it. Somebody wanted it more than I did. All right. Oh, I heard it build fuel pressure. Yeah, that's what it was. Hi, we're running again, Abby. Looks like it's running too good. This thing ain't have. God, what is that sound? I don't know what that sound is. I've never heard a fox body do that before. Yep, that's got a misfire. We're misfiring, Ellie. It's got new spark plugs in it too, looks like. So why is it misfiring? Or I say new. New two years ago. Let's pull it down here and just look at it. See what we see. The brake lights work. They're shining in my eyes. I want to see what's making that sound. God, what's making that sound? Might do a little investigating. I'll figure it out. Well, do y'all see that right there? That's antifreeze, antifreeze, coolant. So, heater core is no good. And the alternator is what's making that loud, humming, vibrating noise. It's terrible. It sounds like a bear end is locked up and it's just a humming on the shaft. So, we've got no charging and a hitter core shot. So that means all the dash has got to come out of this thing. And it clearly needs a paint job. So, if I do intend on keeping this car, I guess I probably need to do it right. And just strip the whole car inside and out, engine bay, everything. Paint it inside and out. And then paint all the interior panels because all the interior panels are there. They're just mismatched and somebody's dyed them. It's not terrible, but I mean, they are all there. They could be cleaned up and dyed. And it looks like they're a weird tan color. Probably because it's burgundy car. So I'll probably go in here and dye everything gray and black. And... Probably just get some carpet because this carpet is tan. Or I might just tan every or re-tan everything. I don't know. That may mind out what color I'm going to go with the car yet. If I do keep it. I kind of like the B5 blue or the teal green. 
or they perform a trade. I don't know. But I stuck the lights in it because they came with the car. So I stuck the headlights in it. They look pretty cool. But I can't close the hood because the hood's not adjusted right. If I close the hood, it's going to bust my lenses. So I'm going to adjust this hood real quick and close it and see what we got. All right, I think I got it as good as I'm going to get it right now. It's the latch needs to come up. It's real finicky. It's not bad though. It don't seem like this front end of this car has ever been shifted over or knocked over or anything. So that's good. That's a plus. It's still got the original hood and stuff on it. It's what came on the car. It's the same color. So this car must not have ever been wrecked like wrecked wrecked. The lower core support is pushed back a little bit on one side. But that's common. I mean, you run over a, a concrete stop, it'll do that on these Fox bodies. That's that's super common. Oh, definitely looks a lot better with the headlights in it. But that's enough playing with this chunky thing. Time to get back to work. Back to the real world. I took a little bit of time off today and went and picked it up. It was just an hour down the road, so that wasn't no big thing. So, cool. So, maybe y'all might see this on the channel. I don't know. We'll get some of these Eleanor's done. I might, I might do a Fox body build from the ground up. We'll see. Till next time.